So we are here at the office. I just received my new Lenovo laptop. This laptop is a transformable laptop that supposedly can work as a tablet and a computer. Yes, I did forget the name. The reason I did need a laptop, a new laptop, is because I need more processing power. So I opted for this. Lenovo has an i7 processor, one of the newer generations, not the fastest I understand. But it also has a nice graphics card, NVIDIA 940M or something like that. And I also really wanted to have a touch screen. So what I want to see is how it does with 4K footage. Can it play it? Can it edit it? That's the biggest test for me. Here it is. Better not drop my new laptop. So it's, it's thinner than I thought, so it's going to fit in my backpack just fine. I had issues with that because the laptop that I have now doesn't fit into the backpack. It's too fat. So this one's not fat. This is the Lenovo Flex 3. Brand new. Actually, no, this one's not brand new. I bought, I bought it refurbished. But it's Amazon approved, Amazon certified refurbished. So it should be fairly good quality and I shouldn't have issues that I shouldn't have. As long as I treat it like a proper laptop and don't throw it around. So here it is. Let's move this stuff. It's pretty thin. Very thin for me. The battery is built in. And there it is. Open it up. i7 NVIDIA GeForce. And it's flat. A flat laptop. Just flip it over. I'm being very careful because I don't want to break my laptop. And there it is. A tablet. So let's put it back to its normal state and play with it. Where's the on button? Is that it? Hold it down. Do they send it to you and not charge? Who knows? Let's figure this out. So far I like it. If I could just figure out how to use it, that'd be wonderful. I see the volume. Volume is right there. I don't know what that button's for. Supposedly that's the power button. I might just have to plug it in. It might be shipped dead. Hopefully the charger's in the box, right? What else do we have in this box? Let's do the rest of the unboxing. How about that? So comes with a charger. Anything else? Nope. So the contents of the box, we've got a user guide, a charger, and a laptop. What else could you need? Yeah, I'm excited. You can hear my voice, I'm so excited. Interesting looking tip there. There. there we go. And it's got a backlit keyboard. Beautiful. So when I'm using my laptop in the dark, dark nights, all night, because that's when I use it, I work best at night. It'll work. And I'll be able to see what I'm typing. Lenovo. So I bought it with, uh, I bought it with a terabyte hard drive instead of the 256 gigabyte SSD. I just need the space more than the startup speed, so that's why it's taken a little bit to start up. Of course, it's also the first startup ever on a hard drive. So that's cool. No problem with that. User, welcome. Will Robinson. The screen does look pretty. I think the battery life is supposed to be three and a half to four hours on the laptop from tests that I've seen online. And that's fine. 
I use it pretty hard. So the first test, I'm going to plug in my hard drive and I just want to see if it'll play 4K footage. Plug that in. Looks like it's properly starting up, finished starting up. How's this mouse? Ooh, that's weird. It's like sandpapery in a weird way. I don't mind it yet. It's cool. Rock Solomon, that's not in 4K. This is in 4K, and this is what I've been wanting to watch to see how it looks. All the way through this area and all the way back to the butt cheek, to the very top of your butt, and rolling up and down, <laughs> up and down, up it and works. down. You want to do yeah, she's doing a, a demonstration zoom video. of the and this is 4K footage, 100 megabyte per okay. second. And it okay. looks like it's working just fine. Perfect. The edge in there. And flexing that foot to get that heel all the way through. Holding it down. Now what else did I shoot in 4K? I have something on this memory card that's in 4K. That I'm shooting in this camera, so I won't be able to get at that. Perfect. Test one passed. You can play 4K footage. So now I can plug this laptop in through HDMI to my 4K screen that I wasn't able to really use in 4K before because the video wouldn't play in 4K. And I can also go online and play 4K footage on YouTube and it'll play just fine instead of skipping and being really annoying. What else do we have here? Alright, so for the editing test, I need to, um, for the editing test, I need to go and install all my Adobe products. I need to install After Effects, install Premiere, and so on. So, I will continue the video when I do that. You got the beat and the music, losing control, no bass kicking it high and you're taking Now we're back to my brand new Lenovo Flex 3. So I've taken some time, I, I installed some applications that I need for what I do, and uninstalled the BS, and I also had some time to do some benchmarks. So the one that you see on there right now is 3D Mark, and it says score 20, 2858. So, result details. There it is. Detailed scores. I don't know, but the score is 2858. Next, I also did Nova Bench that came out at 746. And, you know, it came out with the numbers that 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 were there for pretty much yeah, so it came out pretty much with the numbers that were there on the website for my CPU and for the graphics card. It's a little higher than than the other tests with that same hardware, but it's but it'll do. And Passmark 1247 CPU was 3849, 2D was 498. 3D graphics mark, it didn't finish because um, this computer didn't come with the um, most updated build of Windows 10 that comes with DirectX 12. So that was not, this is not, an, this is not a complete test. Memory mark 1522 and disk mark 805. Now, this is now what I, now what I really wanted to get to was 
testing Premiere. Save. Yes. Close. I want to test Adobe Premiere and see if it can. Is it's. I want to test Adobe Premiere and see if it's going to give me less trouble when I'm trying to edit things. So I'm going to open Adobe, not Photoshop, Premiere right now. I know Photoshop will be okay. It's usually okay. You know, when you edit raw stuff on Photoshop, it turns into a pain in the ass because it takes a while, but it still is okay. So Adobe Premiere. I'm going to plug in my hard drive. That's keeping my stuff. Okay, I'll just get some footage of my friend that was singing on his guitar. So there's Premiere opening. And this is the footage I'm gonna work on. This is 4K footage. It's looking great on this 1080p screen. Clarity is amazing, epic. There's me walking up into the picture. I'm going to see if I can white balance this camera so it matches better with that screen because it looks way better than this. Yeah, there we go. So it looks more like that. And it is a, a fairly warm screen. It's a nice, nice warmness. Yeah. Or else forget about it. Okay. Adobe Premiere Pro requires updated video card drivers for GPU accelerated rendering. Please download and install current drivers for your video card. Okay. I guess I'll do that real fast and I'll be back. So I went to the GeForce website, I put in my graphics card, and it's downloading the drivers right now. It is 368 megabytes, it'll take about 3 minutes to install it. It was very easy to find the GeForce website has been there since the beginning of time so they know what they're doing when it comes to putting a search for drivers and you can also do a automatic update thing but I didn't do that I just want to do it myself the latest they, they've actually been putting out an update every month for this video card and you know it says September October and this last one was November 18th which was three days ago so it's gonna be the most updated ness possible for this video card I have done it. I've updated the drivers. Hopefully it's the right thing and I'll be able to use Premiere Pro to its full potential. There we go. No errors. I'm ready. File. Let's make a new file. New project. And we'll make it in this folder. This is just like a test thing, but might as well make a folder, put it in the right folder. Yep. I'll name it Rock 4K. And I'm going to take probably this one. Plays perfectly in Premiere. Okay, now let's take it into the timeline, and that's playing at half resolution. Oh, they totally switched up Premiere, didn't they? Okay, so I want, let's say I want to um, zoom in here, 
because it's 4K footage, so I can zoom in. And I'll stop it there. Let's see how it looks. So I'm editing 4K footage. Effect controls. And scale. Well, you know what? I need to make this sequence 1080, which is how I'd normally use it. 1920, 1080. Okay. So then this one has to be 50%. This one has to be 50%. This one is going to be the same, just Let's go up. This is good. I like this. This is going to be the prop for framing I would use. Do your best. Do everything you can. Lovely. Don't worry what they tell themselves while you're away. It just takes some time to get you in the middle of the ride. Everything's gone. So, life is good. This is the test I wanted to do. I'm going to have a good time editing my 4K footage now with this awesome i7 processor and 940M GeForce. It's not the best thing out there, but it's good enough. And it's way better than what I had before. AMD A4, which is a heavier laptop and everything. So this is gonna be a nice little thing. Yay. Alright, thanks for watching. Now back to my basketball game that I was watching.